Grand Rapids has been a city for more than 170 years. The region is home to hundreds of thousands of people. It was a place for early explorers and immigrants to live and make their own traditions. The Grand Rapids Public Museum is exploring all of those facts today at the annual Cultural Heritage Festival. Joining us now here in studio to talk more about the festival is Sarah Olson, Marketing Manager for the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about this festival and what attendees can expect. Today is going to be exceptional. Um, it's we're open from 10, excuse me, the festival is from 10 to 4 today and that's our Cultural Heritage Festival, previously known as the Ethnic Heritage Festival, so people might be familiar with that name. And it is going to feature more than 30 organizations from all over West Michigan. And they're gonna be representing their cultural background, their ties to the area, the country that they may represent. Um, there's gonna be performances, hosting tables with representations. Um, we have a planetarium show that we're debuting today. I mean, it's gonna be jam packed, so. You mentioned 30 organizations. That's very impressive. What are some of those organizations that people can expect? We have have um, the Hispanic uh, Heritage Center of West Michigan um, and we have uh, the K-pop group Evolution is coming to do some performances for us today. We have Professor Margaret Vega who's going to be coming to give a talk in our Celebration of Souls exhibit. Um, she's responsible for one of the ofrendas that was dedicated to her father so that's really exciting oh. that we get some face time with her um, and uh, just so many more. Yeah it's uh, it's truly uh, a feat for our team that we were able to get so much diversity this year. It's going to be more like a festival than it ever has been. Now, like we kind of intro, obviously there's so much history to West Michigan, so much culture here. How important is it to have a festival like this here in the city of Grand Rapids? I think it's hugely important because a lot of these cultures helped shape our community in ways that I think people aren't even aware of. And so having that opportunity to have those lessons in front of them in fun and engaging ways, um, are, it's just really exciting and it really speaks to what we try to do at the museum have that you know that crossover of education fun and history so and then you mentioned um, that new exhibit or new show um, talk a little bit about that and what people can expect there I think you're talking about power of poison which is uh, debuting next Saturday uh, October 22nd um, members have a preview from uh, 10 to noon and then at noon we open to the public and the power of poison comes from, to us from New York the American Museum of Natural History and it's everything that you ever wanted to know about poison. It's the, you know, the cultural legends that have stuck with us throughout the ages, um, you know, the history for our true crime buffs, the science behind it and how we've turned it into medicine. Um, it's really extraordinary. Wow. It sounds like a, a great exhibit and lots of history behind that. Yeah. And now last question um, before we let you go here, if people would like to attend the festival this weekend or today, what do they need to know? So we, it is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, members, uh, excuse me, <laughs> members get uh, for their parking included. Kent County kids 17 and under get free admission, and then there's a discount for Kent County adults. Our museum cafe is gonna feature foods from all over the globe. Uh, again, I said there's planetarium shows, the carousel is always included in admission, so there is a whole day's worth of activities for you. Some history, some good eats, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Sarah, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well